Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about Shopify stock. It's a stock I recently, per well, I purchased about six months ago. Um, and it's been on a tear ever since. Uh, the current price is $393 a share. And it's only IPO four years ago at $27, 28 bucks a share. And it's been on a tear ever since. So... Uh, what I want to talk about in this video is if I think Shopify is still a buy, if it still has chance to grow even more. Um, so first we're going to look at what Shopify actually is, and then we'll get into, into the financials and the numbers towards the end. So basically what Shopify is, it's kind of similar. It's like a website builder, like Wix or one of the other ones. Um, I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head, but it's a website builder, but uh, it's catered more towards shops. So it makes things like payment processing, just setting up a beautiful store very easy. Uh, so Tesla is an example of a site that uses Shopify. That might surprise you. Uh, so they have some big, big names like Gymshark, looking through here, don't know if you know some of these brands, Nestle uses Shopify, Nietzsche. So there are big, big brands that are using Shopify, but also at the moment it's a, mostly catered towards smaller and medium sized businesses. And I'm sure you're aware of um, all the drop shippers who are using Shopify at the moment. So let's have a look. I can just Google Shopify. You're gonna get millions of videos and they all have millions of views. How to set, set up a Shopify store. So this is really big in the drop shipping community. And drop shipping, if you don't know, is where I set up this Shopify website. I market all the products on Facebook and Instagram or wherever else. And so my customer buys, pays me the money. So it's like $40 for this uh, selfie stick, for example. So I get the $40 and then I go onto AliExpress, pay $5 for the selfie stick and send the selfie stick to your address directly. And I keep the difference. So Shopify in the last few years, it's done so well because of the rise of uh, drop shipping, and that really took off in the last couple of years. So you can see Shopify has just been on a complete tear, and even recently it kind of consolidated around this price of like hundred and twenty dollars a share for a few months. And I bought it because I tried to do Shopify myself or drop shipping, kind of a similar. I might talk about that in the future. If you want, let me know. But I bought around 130 bucks a share and immediately just went up, 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 up. And in the space of a couple of months, I did 2x my, um, 2x my investment. So I decided to sell about half and it still kept going up to another. So it multiplied again. So now it's another 3x since my first investment. So this would have been a nice spot to get in around here, but let's see if. What, what we really want to know is, does Shopify have the potential to 10x again? It's already more than 10x, it's about 15x, but could it 10x again? So right now it has a market cap of 45 billion. So for it to 10x, it would have to be 450 billion. So that's a huge company. That's a huge, huge company. That's about half the size of Amazon, but it does have that potential. Um, so let's run through how Shopify works. You have a few different, Shopify uses a recurring revenue model. So that's always a really nice way um, to earn income because you know how much you're gonna earn every month by how many users you have, like Amazon or another company. That's why Amazon brought on the Amazon Prime just to get that recurring revenue because like, some months you might have a bad month, some months you may have a really good month, 
But if you have a recurring revenue stream, you kind of have a better idea. It's less volatile. So here, the basic Shopify is 29 a month. You can have most of the stuff here. This is what most people use. But then the bigger stores would be using these ones where there's less, um, the Shopify takes less of a cut, cut on your transactions. And then the really big stores like Tesla and Gymshark would be using Shopify Plus, which is in the thousands per month. Um, yeah, so Shopify has a lot of stuff going for it. It's uh, like at the moment, let's see the exact number. Um, yeah, so e-commerce, like online, online purchases still make up only about, well, make up about 17% of retail sales which is kind of surprising so there's still 80 percent in brick and mortar stores and i think we all know where where that trend is going so there is room for it to grow in that sense and shopify is growing at a screen of 40 percent this year in revenue 44 percent revenue in 2019 so the revenue is at one and a half billion this year. So, and furthermore, they have a lot of a decent amount of cash. Even though they're losing, they're losing quite a lot of money every year. They have a good amount of cash. They have two, two, just over two billion in assets, and half a billion in cash. And their liability, excuse me, their liabilities are 130 million they have very little liabilities so they can keep burning through money for the next few years without being too worried uh, yeah we looked at that their earnings per share 1.15 well negative 1.15 they're still losing money for the next few years anyway they're just looking at looking at growing the revenue and like really getting all these brick and mortar stores on online like they're the they're the leader there's other they have some competitors but they're really the market leader so it's like big car big commerce woocommerce but like most people most brick and mortar stores once they want to transition onto the online platform they're not going to spend thousands and thousands designing their own website and doing all that really difficult stuff much easier just to pay these amounts per month Shopify handle everything, payment processing. You can make beautiful, beautiful websites. Like I made it and I'm not the smartest man in the world. I made a really nice website really easily in a few months. So easy to do. Like look at look at this, like videos. Let's, let's have a look. So Jim Shark's website. So it loads up pretty fast. So as you can see, like you'd have no idea this was made, but like a website builder, but looks really, really clean, really, really nice, easy to buy stuff. And any any Joe, average Joe can make this. Check out bomb and you just so simple to do. <clears throat> um yeah, even Kylie Jenner is using it now, so they payment all the process process all the payment for you um, oh yeah and uh, basically Shopify is reinvesting all their revenue and using their cash to grow the company so they've this year they spent 1 billion in building out their own US based fulfillment so they're kind of trying to take on Amazon there having their own fulfillment centers so their customers and the customers being the people who build web, like the businesses that build websites using Shopify can have their own distribution network through Shopify. Um, so Shopify now are the number three e-commerce platform in the world behind obviously number one is Amazon, number two is eBay. But Shopify are expected to overtake eBay, eBay in the next few years. Um, they don't obviously they don't have a price to earnings ratio because their earnings are negative, but the price to sales ratio is thirty, which is 
pretty huge. Uh, it's a big price to sales ratio. Uh, so like other similar tech companies like Squarespace and uh, I forgot the other ones, but other other tech companies that have similar revenue growth in the last few years, they have a lower price to sales ratio. They so they would technically be better value. Although they do not have the potential that Shopify has here, I believe. Like Shopify is growing into a huge market. That's coming. Like there's a huge opportunity here for Shopify. Uh, Shopify. Well, the CEO, his name is. Um, what's his name again? I forget his name, but he basically he wanted to build. When he, about 10 years, yeah, 15 years ago, he wanted to have a snowboarding, online snowboarding shop. So he was looking if there was any shop builders online. Um, and found that there wasn't anything like Shopify to, ba- to make his sh- snowboarding shop. So instead of making the snowboarding shop, he decided to make Shopify so he could make his sh- snowboarding shop. And then obviously other people are like, oh, can I use that, that software? Can I use that? And the rest is history. So uh, I'll just close by saying, if I missed anything I wanted to say. Yeah, brick and mortar. It's really easy for a brick and mortar store to transition online. But you even have Shopify point of sale of, uh, payments processors. So you can integrate that with your website so you'll get paid through shopify in if you're getting paid physically as well um, and they also have wholesale options so if you want so i have my website that's for my normal customers but then i also want to have a, a wholesale private website you have that option as well so you can sell at a wholesale price and this website you need to be like invited to you need a password to get onto it so I can say that to distributions or uh, wholesalers that I want, other shops that I want. You can view this wholesale website, but normal customers can't. Uh, so yeah, the Shopify is obviously a growth stock. There's not very much value there, uh, but it does have it does have huge potential, although. If I, if it were me, I, if I had some spare money, I hadn't invested in Shopify yet. I'd be careful of investing a huge amount right now, just because it's, uh, that's such a, such an all-time high. Uh, like it could just keep going up, 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 but I'd be careful. I'd be wary. So if, if I were to invest, this isn't financial advice. I'd. It started with a very small amount right now and dollar cost average on the way up. And maybe there'll be a dip if the if they don't beat earnings in the next in the next uh quarter. There could be a small dip if they lose more money than expected, etc. etc. Et uh so that's everything I wanted to say about Shopify stock. If you like the video, there's a like and subscribe and uh I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.